Hi, I am Vasudev. I work in Invecus, Bangalore. I take care of the memory compilers. I am the lead role here. EOCV, the name itself stands for Advanced On-Chip Variation. It is an on-chip variation unit to model. What we want to actually design and fabricate in the silicon will be different than uh, what actually comes up uh, after the fabrication because so many variations, there will be a systematic and a random variations. And this task is even more difficult in the SRAM because the SRAM is static random access memories. These memories will have a lot of uh, functionalities and features and so many input and output uh, combinations and R. So the existing approaches, different companies have few different methods, but predominantly one of the existing method is running Monte Carlo simulation on a full instance netlist where the entire netlist circuitry and uh, all the devices are there in the simulation you need to set up and give all those stimuli and the measurements and do the simulation that to the Monte Carlo simulation multiple times and because of the huge netlist it takes so much time in simulation and that to order of several days it will go and apart from that because the netlist is so big it will have huge memory requirement and a huge LSF missions that is a very tedious task and time consuming and the second method a little better method than the first one is your netlist can be reduced by identifying what are the repetitive cells in memories. Memories consist of some cells which are repetitive in nature like a bit cell and some of the row decoders and local IOs and reducing this repetitive cells by modeling like a load model will drastically reduce the device count and the nodes count but still it will have order of several thousands of uh, nodes and devices. This also takes Monte Carlo simulation order of 3-4 days which is again is a time consuming even though method 1 is more accurate but that is a lot of time consuming method 2 is much better in the netlist but still the simulation time takes order of few days so overall both the methods existing in the industry are still a lot of time consuming methods this is the problem we want to address our method of uh, generating the AOCV model completely relies on Legato memory solution, specifically Liberate MAX with a Spectre simulation. Our characterization, we use the Liberate MAX flow, which is very efficient and it has a minimal effort in setting up the Liberate MAX for the characterization and it has an inbuilt intelligence of identifying the, the dynamic partition and then what is the activity factor. So it does a fast by simulator to identify the path which is actually active and toggling and it takes only that particular partition and uses a accurate spy simulator to provide the dot lips. This particular dot lip generation using a Liberate MX tool is already available which is coming free of cost for us and where we jump in for AOCV is the output from Liberate MX where it has a partition at least with all the setup and the nodes which actually it identified. We use that, we add a couple of commands for Monte Carlo and it, boom, I enter the command. So it runs the simulation and it gives a result in order of couple of words. And there is a script which will read that result and generate the AOCV model with all the derating values very quickly, order of a few hours. With our approach, compared to the method one, method two, which I talked before, it gives an exponential and order of several magnitudes of performance gain. If you see in the method one, our number of devices order of several millions and the nodes and RC elements were order of several millions. And it used to take order of days, multiple days, more than 10, 15 days for getting just a 300 Monte Carlo simulations. Whereas in the second method, which is a little better than the first method, the second method is a critical path modeling simulation, which again, the netlist size would be order of several thousands and even the RC elements also several thousands. And even that simulations for Monte Carlo time, it takes time of around 84 hours and which is order of around three to four days. And that itself is even bigger. Whereas with our approach, where by using the Liberate MX partition at least and running Monte Carlo simulation, the netlist size, the device count drastically reduces from order of million to few hundreds. So there is so many magnitude difference in the device count itself. And even the RC netlist also gave, goes from several millions to the order of a couple of few hundred transistors and RC elements. So as the netlist and then device count itself came down, you can expect exponential saving in your runtime and RN memory. We can see that 
from method one, if I compare for our method, you see several thousand folds improvement in the runtime and uh, memory. I'm not talking about just 10%, 20%. I'm talking about so many X times improvement here. From method one, it is almost several thousand X improvement. And compared to method two, even if you see there are few tens of times we have the benefit, which is exponential several magnitudes matter. So if I summarize compared to the method one, method two, which is normally available. So using our Legoto memory solutions, liberate MX flow with a spectral simulation, which we will achieve order of few hours and several magnitudes, a performance benefit both in the runtime and the CPU.